we are discussing the Joint British Diabetes Society guidelines how to prescribe variable rate IV insulin. This involves multiple infusions of insulin as well as substrate fluid running side by side. So if you do have a patient admitted in hospital whose glucose needs to be controlled rapidly and they are not eating and drinking, you can run an insulin infusion as well as a substrate fluid infusion side by side and start checking their blood glucose on an hourly basis. The insulin infusion is prepared by adding 50 units of ectropid insulin in 50 ml of normal saline. This insulin infusion is given intravenously via an infusion pump at a rate dependent on the hourly blood glucose levels. So the blood glucose monitoring on an hourly basis is a must with variable rate IV insulin. The hourly glucose levels can vary while the patient is admitted in hospital. Hence the insulin infusion rate needs to be adjusted on an hourly basis. The idea is to keep the glucose within target range of 4 and 12 by the hourly blood glucose checks. Now the Joint British Diabetes Society guideline gives variety of insulin infusion rates, but we normally start on the standard rate of variable rate IV insulin. You can start patients on reduced rate of variable rate IV insulin if they are very insulin sensitive. Or you can also start them on increased rate of variable rate IV insulin if they are very insulin resistant or even right to customized infusion rate. But always concerned to your diabetes teams if you are writing a customized rate. What does the sub substrate fluid mean? It means that while you're giving IV insulin, you also give them another fluid that contains glucose, so their blood glucose levels don't drop. The ideal substrate fluid to be used with variable rate IV insulin is 0.45% sodium chloride with 5% glucose plus 0.3% potassium chloride. Or alternatively, you can use 5% dextrose with 40 millimoles potassium chloride if the above fluid is not available. Remember. The patients at high risk of electrolyte disturbance like renal impairment, dialysis patients, those having risk of fluid overload or electrolyte disturbance. This includes patients with liver failure, heart failure or pregnancy. They can be at high risk if started on variable rate IV insulin. Hence, all the patients require regular review for fluid status, check of their electrolytes, especially potassium, then always ask a question to yourself, can the variable rate IV insulin be stopped? There are certain insulins that can be continued with variable rate IV insulin. If you want to know about them, click on the next video.